Hi, my name is Steve Tilden. This is Blackfish Gallery, and we're here to talk about the show for this February 2015. Um, and uh, this is Jen Fuller, who is a glass artist, and she and I collaborated on, on most of the pieces in this show. And uh, we'd like to talk about the centaur first, that basically began with the glass bust. Yeah, Steve Tilden and I, we met uh, a couple years ago. Um, after winning grants from an arts foundation and we were introduced and we promptly started working together. And it's been really a collaboration between materials, age differences, gender differences, career differences. <laughs> yeah, and it's wonderful to, uh, to be up against the challenge of, of uh, marrying the, the glass with the steel. Steel is, I work in steel and I love it because if I drop it, it doesn't break, number one. Number two is if I cut it too short, I can add on a little bit. But glass, totally different. And uh, so we had to uh, scramble to figure out how to make this thing go. How, how did we end up starting thinking centaur? Well, you had been doing centaurs already for Blackfish Gallery. And when we met, I was just starting to work out the mold to do the glass. Uh, yeah. And I brought it to you and said, we are making a life-size um, centaur. And I said, yes, ma'am. So. <laughs> no, he kind of cringed because he doesn't work this large. Uh, so the, the biggest challenge was to marry the spine of the, of the human part of this creature with the spine and the frame of the animal part. And so we began with the glass and then we adapted to the steel to fit the glass. Um, and ended up with a tail made of rods that are bent in the kiln. Um, yeah, we really work on how we are going to transport these objects and how we're going to put them together. So, so a lot of designing, pre-designing, and then following it, the sculpture where it wants to go. So a lot of back and forth conversation as well as a lot of back and forth sculpting. Yes, and since I'm, you know, we started with the, with the glass bust, then when that was set up and we had, you know, I was working on sort of the, the lines of the body, then I continued um, the shape of the, of the leg, the thigh, um, with steel. And that was a challenge, but uh, I'm very happy with how it turned out. Now, uh, we, we, we were talking about the centaur and how we began with the glass. In this case here, we decided to do the Daedalus, um, and uh, the, the frame of the steel had to come first, all of it, just about. And so we, I, I built the frame, I built the skeleton, essentially, and as I was adding on uh, these lines to make sinew and muscle, um, Jen and I worked together to decide on how to do this feather, or this sew wing, essentially. And then Jen made feathers out of the paper. Yeah, we wanted to work on something more masculine because we had been working a lot on the female form and that was always starting with the glass. So this process we started with the steel because the glass had to match the, the lines of the steel, not the other way around. So all of the, the main structure of Daedalus was made first by Steve and then we slowly mapped out the feathers by making them first in paper and then molding them in steel and then the glass was slumped over the steel to create each individual feather. And again, we had to make all of it modular so that the sculpture could be moved. So every piece of glass and steel unbolts from itself for, for easy transportation yep. and for cleaning. This was quite a challenge for me. I learned a lot about uh, how to you know, be on the periphery and then be in the center, back and forth, back and forth, and helping to make up my biggest uh, contribution with the glass was uh, making the molds out of steel that Jen then took and adapted to use in the kiln. It's uh, quite a long process. Uh, every single feather was individually made. <laughs> That's quite a long process, but we're quite happy with the result. I don't know if you can see uh, the way these feathers go when we finally got them on. We just love it that they're layered and you know, sticking out like that. So. Yeah, and each feather, it's, it's depending on the light, there's dimensionality to them where they, the way that they took to the mold, they have uh, feather striations on them. So depending on how the light is hitting the sculpture, the feathers have more or less detail. Yeah. 